I can't tell you the number of times I've heard people describe themselves as someone who's bad with money, and they'll even make statements about how they'll never get out of debt or how they'll always be broke because they're bad with it. But the reality is none of us are born knowing how to manage money. It's something that we learn along the way. Some people learn earlier, other people learn later, Either way, money management is a skill that we have to acquire. And a lot of people who are good with money today were not good with it years ago. So things can change, but that will often require a new plan. But before jumping in, I wanna take a moment to talk about how you can save money on groceries without clipping coupons. In case you haven't noticed, food prices are soaring and who knows when they're gonna come down. Ibotta is a free app and browser extension that gives you cash back on purchases from stores like Walmart, Kroger, Target, and Publix. And this is whether you're shopping in store or online. But the app isn't only for food. You can also get cash back from other retailers too, like. Home Depot, Old Navy, or PetSmart. Simply download the app, choose the offers you want before shopping, scan your receipt, and earn money. It's really that easy. And as a bonus, if you use my referral code at registration, Ibotta will give you $10 when you submit your first receipt. So the first thing you need to do is change your language. I do believe in the power of a positive mindset. Now granted, mindset alone is not going to get you to where you wanna be. It also takes action. But one thing I have learned from experience is that telling yourself that you'll always be bad at something could become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Because if you don't believe that you can do better, you might not even try. So the first step to flipping things around is changing your language and how you view your situation. So instead of saying I'm bad with money, change the language to I've yet to learn how to manage money. But this doesn't mean that you should put up blinders or that you shouldn't acknowledge past mistakes because self-awareness is helpful because it can help you make better decisions moving forward. But at the same time, you should not let the past define who you are today or where you can be in the future. You can also change things by making one good financial decision each day. Being better with money does not always happen overnight. It can take weeks, months, or even years, and it will typically involve a series of mini steps. And when you look at each step individually, it might not seem as if you're doing a lot, but as a whole, they can set the stage for a better financial picture. And one mini step you can take is to make at least one good financial decision each day. If you can do more, great, but commit to at least one. And these decisions don't have to be anything huge. For example, instead of grabbing coffee on the way to work, you might brew your own or drink the coffee in your office. If you go out to lunch with a coworker, instead of spending $10, you might spend $5 instead. Or you might transfer a small amount into your savings account that day, even if it's only $5. And the point of this exercise is really to help you become more conscious of your daily decisions, which could then lead to good financial habits. Something else that I've also learned through experience is that one healthy financial habit can usually lead to another one. I also encourage you to keep a spending journal where you'll write down each miscellaneous dollar you spend every day. And this is crucial because when a lot of people overspend or go over budget, they're not always buying big stuff. It's often the little purchases that add up over time. It can be the $2 spent at the gas station on a candy bar or a bag of chips you grab at lunch or extra items added to your cart in the checkout line. It is so easy to forget about the small amounts, yet it's these purchases that could possibly be killing your budget, which can make it difficult for you to save, to pay off debt, or even pay your bills on time. Plus, part of being good with money is knowing where your money goes. So once you have a clear picture of how much you're spending on extras, you could then make adjustments which can help free up cash in your budget. You might also have to forget everything you've learned about money. The reality is that some people are bad with money, not only because they weren't taught how to manage it, but also because they didn't have the best example growing up. And to be fair, parents can only teach what they know and bad money habits can pass from generation to generation. So if you notice this type of pattern in your family, it's often a matter of one, acknowledging it, and two, forgetting everything that you've learned and starting fresh. And this isn't easy because some habits can be ingrained, but again, it's all about tiny steps. You can start with the basics, such as learning how to budget, how to live within your means, how to manage credit card debt, and how to pay yourself first, even if it's only a small amount. And going back to the tip on making one good financial decision a day, 
One of your decisions could be to deep dive into a complicated finance topic so that you can have a better understanding. You should also get into a habit of paying your bills on time. Now, I realize that this can be difficult for several reasons. So to start, I'm going to give the oversimplified version, which assumes that you earn enough to pay your bills, in which case the problem might lie with disorganization or maybe forgetfulness. Not paying your bills on time can result in late fees, debt collection calls, and even bad credit, in which case I can understand why you might feel that you're bad with money. So to be better, you have to take steps to ensure timely payments. And the number one thing that you can do is create a budget because lack of a budget contributes to a lot of overspending. Because if you're not keeping track of what's coming in and what's going out, you are more likely to spend more on wants than you can realistically afford to. And as a result, you could end up running out of money before the end of the month and then paying your bills late. And I recently did a video on how to create a budget that makes sense for you, which I will link to above. But in addition to this, it also helps to automate your bills. You can set up payment reminders or even batch pay your bills. And if you can't pay by a due date, ask for a payment extension, which can keep your account in good standing. And this is key because paying your bills on time helps you take control of your finances. Now, if you're paying your bills late because your necessary expenses are more than your income, that is a separate issue. However, I do have a few videos that might help, which I will link to below. And finally, you have to tackle impulse spending, which is spending on unplanned purchases. And this can be difficult for a lot of people, but it's crucial that you control it because being impulsive can break a budget regardless of income. So to control this, before you make an unplanned purchase, it might help to ask yourself, why am I buying this item? And be honest with the answer. Did you have a bad day and you're trying to make yourself feel better? Is shopping a form of entertainment for you? Or did you forget to write out a list? And once you understand why you're making certain purchases, see if you can create a few obstacles. You can also lock or freeze your credit card, which can slow you down and give you time to think about a purchase or commit to a 24 hour waiting period before making a purchase. This gives you time to consider whether a purchase is necessary and whether you can afford it. Also make an effort to avoid temptation. So if there is a particular retailer and you know that this retailer is your weakness, don't browse their store for fun. So that's all that I have for you guys today. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And also subscribe if you like personal finance and you want to see more videos like this. I typically post every weekend. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you in a few days.